Today, CAA Niagara is proud to announce the names of the two local charities to receive funding from the first ever Community Boost program. Community Boost is a program that we've created at CAA Niagara to help support a number of charities in a more significant way. So many times we're involved with many charities across the organization, across the, uh, the area. However, we want it to be more significant for just two each year. Drivers, start your engines! The two organizations selected were Christian French Child Advocacy Center and Distress Center Niagara. Both organizations were on hand to see their logos displayed on the newest additions to the CAA fleet and receive a check for $10,000. This was fantastic. I mean, we are so honored and pleased to be able to do this uh, with CAA. Um, this is, I think, their first time of going about this and being one of the two that were chosen is fantastic. We're very thankful. They called us on April 1st to let us know and I was at a conference. So I got the call at the conference. Peter was really excited to give us the notice uh, and it was so exciting because all I thought was don't let this be a terrible April Fool's joke. <laughs> so it was exciting to be told that we were selected out of over 50 applicants and we're thrilled, thrilled. The process that led to the announcement started in March when the engagement committee looked at over 50 applications before voting on today's recipients. We really felt that, that um, our employees would probably be a good example of our members and our community to be able to pick um, those, those groups that would be most deserving. So they happen to be in the mental health area and the child uh, safety area, which um, fits really well with our values here at CA Niagara, and it worked out really well. The $10,000 will help the Kristen French Child Advocacy Centre continue their important programming. We have a youth outreach program going on now and we want to expand that a bit. Um, we have particularly education on human trafficking happening and so we want to build on that. Uh, we also have something called Teen Connect which goes in the schools which is awareness. Uh, and we have a teen creative program, so we'd like to build that a bit as well. So we're finishing up one grant with that, it's a GROW grant, and now we're ready to kind of settle it into its permanency, and this will really help us do that. Now, for people out there who might be watching this, mm -hmm. tell us what's going to happen with that flatbed truck in relation to your charity. Well, wherever they go, they have um, a hashtag and a donate uh, to youth, and a, f a number that they can text anywhere they are, anytime, on their phone, and that will go through a process with um, uh, Canada Helps on our line and a direct process with mobile giving. So it's, it's, a, it's a win win, and anybody can text very simply and, and just donate $10, and that'll continue the, the cause. Distress Centre volunteers answer over 10,000 crisis calls a year. Community Boost funding will ensure this service continues. So the $10,000 is very helpful in helping us to recruit, train, support the volunteer responders that we have on the line 24 hours a day. Uh, it's also helpful in helping us to maintain 24-hour existence. So we are an essential service in Niagara and being able to keep the phone lines open 24 hours is very important to us. Now you're standing in front of this amazing new vehicle. What do you think? This is awesome. So this is one of the first unveilings of our new logo and to see it on such a huge canvas is so exciting and thrilling. These new flatbed trucks are the largest in the fleet. If you notice them on the road, take note of the text to donate information for both community boost organizations. In Thorold, Reporting for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.